Hey, my name is Hannah Gumbo. I am an artist that concentrates in murals and illustrations, and I'm here today with Girls Meet Glow. So Pop Drop was created during COVID, kind of just um, a creative idea that I wanted to explore um, that really came out of my desire to do more interactive artwork. And so I've been doing murals for a while. I really enjoy that I get to finish a piece and people get to stumble upon it and um, take pictures in front of it. I started to think what would be a fun way to make mobile murals or a mural that's um, customized per event. And so for a mural, you need walls. Um, and I started with that and devised a booth structure that is um, so three walls and a base. And I can paint that um, over and over as many times as I need to to kind of revitalize it and make it special for each of it. Um, the process of deciding what to paint and what colors to choose and kind of working with people um, was something that was really appealing specifically at that time because I was so uh, isolated and away from creative community. Uh, so I started working on that and actually wrote a grant for it and was awarded. And so um, that helped put the momentum behind me to actually get the supplies I needed. All the different people that I brought in inspired kind of the project to keep going. For me, it's satisfying when other people get it, when they're like literally, in this case, inside the vision or, um, you know, you're brainstorming like, oh, what can we add to this? And then you, you create a solution and, um, and everyone's like excited together. So I think a lot of times um, as artists, we create in the solitude of our studio or our home and you know, sharing what we make could be a really vulnerable experience and really tough to do sometimes. Um, but this is kind of a, a fun way to just say the whole point of it is to share it. The whole point of it is to bring it out in public. So some practical advice I would have as far as being an artist, you 100% could be an artist and never make a dime off of that. I think a lot of times nowadays we try to monetize all the things that we do. Um, so absolutely no pressure. And there's, there's aspects of my creativity that I never share with the world that are just for me. Um, so I think figuring that out, there's so much strangeness with art and money and it's hard to talk about and it's hard to get pricing. You need to have a contract, no matter how small it is, you need to be paid upfront and then I like to do some up front, some at the end. And that just allows people to understand even if the project's for your aunt or your cousin and it's something super small, you are starting to get used to the fact that your time and your talent has value and that that value, you need to purchase supplies, you need to carve out time to complete the project. And so um, just having that written down, it could be something that's really simple, you just get from online, it could be two sentences. But having someone acknowledge that, sign it, and give you $50 in advance, $100 in advance, um, just starts to legitimize that what you're doing is, you could be doing anything during that time, even making art just for yourself. And so um, the fact that you're lending your creative talent and kind of trying to represent or create something for someone else um, is very valuable. And so start small, start with what you're comfortable with, but always value your time and, and do that in a way that people understand it before they take another step forward.